first I would like to ask for your permission to use this video and uh, your surgical information, picture that we took in the surgery and so on, all for educational purpose and on the internet. Yes. Thank you. Now, tell me about your symptoms. Did that my back mm -hmm. went out. When um, was that? At the end of September, but okay. I had had back trouble yeah. prior. And the chiropractor, you know, was able to, mm -hmm. but now it was too far okay. gone. And it How bad just, was your pain? How bad was it? Mm -hmm. One to ten. A ten. And leg pain? How bad was the leg pain? A ten. Ten. And when you and I met, you had what we noticed, you had two bad discs, mm -hmm. and, uh, but one of them, the bottom one, was pushing the material of the disc out. Yes. And we said we are going to fix that first, and we did that. Yep. And then I lost my bladder at the end of... Or but let's stay with the first surgery. You remember that we tried, we were, you were losing function, and we were trying to get you scheduled. But your insurance, somebody in the, your insurance was telling us, don't do the surgery. Do you remember that? Yeah, they wanted to send me to incontinence class yeah. and physical therapy. But we called them, and they told us the reason, the medical person there told us, the reason they didn't want us to do the surgery is because your BMI is too high mm -hmm. and surgery is way too dangerous. Now your BMI is 55 and obviously if you cannot walk, you cannot really lose weight. Right. But nevertheless, we did that macrodiscectomy. When did we do that? January 15th. Okay. And you know, the, how, did the, how did that macrodiscectomy work for your leg pain? Just for the leg pain. Leg pain, it worked. But not for the back pain much, huh? Not the lower. I no. could. I felt that it came mm -hmm. back yeah. after. It just felt like somebody poured hot water. Yeah, yeah, like burning huh? down my leg, and I knew then that mm -hmm. it reherniated. Yeah, and as we, well as the other one. And we actually got it. an MRI, and we showed that it reherniated, and as well the bone literally was on bone. Mm -hmm. And uh, we decided, you know, you know, we did other things and so on, but we decided to do the surgery. Yep. Now again, recommendation is generally for spine surgery, for open surgery, if BMI is above 40, not to do the surgery because that's risky. Right. But we did your surgery with the new technique, Olive technique, that it doesn't really matter your, what your BMI is. We can still do it very safely. Yep. Now, um, how bad was your pain before the second surgery? It was 9 to 10. 9 to 10. How bad is the pain now? like five right now okay but um when was the surgery though yesterday yesterday not even 24 hours since the surgery yep. no. how, how, did, how did your day go today today was i mean i was up i didn't sleep well last night but i was up and mm -hmm. i went for a long walk last night. Okay, well, so within the same day, you after the surgery, you went for a walk. Yep. And I understand that you are cleared by physical therapy to go home today. Yep. So under 24 hours, we are able to send you home after this. I feel a lot better now. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, now, if you can walk safely, and if you can go stairs up and down, and if the pain controlled with pills, generally that is the criteria. Yep. That we send people home, and I, but this would have been an open old-fashioned surgery, based on data available. This would have been a eight, ten-hour surgery, and your scar would have been like a foot long. Right. After an open surgery, just to get in. Right. You you have multiple small incision in your back, and they will heal well. And we got a CAT scan today. Everything is in perfect position. And I'm going to go and do the paperwork to send you home. Just take it easy, mm -hmm. and we'll meet in the office, and we go from there. Any comment, any question for me? No, I'm just thankful that you did it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you thank you. Just say, you know, it's too risky. No, you said this needs to be done, and we do it. Yes, and uh, I could say that because we have a procedure that reduced the risk of the surgery so tremendously. Mm -hmm. And it didn't require me literally massacre your back to get in. 
the right. tube, the size of the tube that I got in and did the surgery, is uh, diameter is uh, the same as the the handle of that glasses a pair of glasses that you are holding in your hand. Yeah. That is the size of the tube that I got the entire surgery done, and obviously that sort of changes the risk profile of the surgery. So I'm very happy. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Yes.